Okay, for this number based conversion, we'll be using a base four number system, also called quaternary. And the number we'll be converting in decimal form is 713. The conversion factor we'll be using are Roman numerals. To start the conversion, we'll take 713 and divide it by 4. So now that we did our first division problem, we have our remainder, which is 1, and our quotient number, which is 178. Our 1, our remainder, will be turned into a Roman numeral, I, with a base 4. That's the first term in our quaternary um, conversion. We'll take the 178 and divide it by 4 again. Now that we've divided 178 by 4, we're left with a remainder of 2 and a quotient of 44. Like the first problem, we'll take the remainder of 2 and put it here in Roman numerals. Roman numeral 2i with a base 4. We'll then take the 44 and divide it again by 4. That gives us a quotient of 11 and a remainder of 0. Since we have the remainder of 0, like the 2 before, we'll write down here nulla, which is Roman for 0, with a base 4. Okay. Now that we've done that, we can divide 11 by 4. Oops. Now that we've divided 4 by 44, we can, with a quotient of 11, we can divide 11 by 4. That gives us a remainder of 3 and a quotient of 2. Our remainder of 3 will once again go down here as Roman numeral 3i with a base 4. And since we can no longer divide the quotient 2 by 4, that will also come down as a Roman numeral 2i. And here we have completed our conversion from um, decimal to quaternary with a conversion factor of Roman numerals. Now I'll be converting quaternary base 4 to decimal, also known as base 10. We're starting out with our number in quaternary, which is the same number we used to convert from originally from the decimal 713. To convert back, we'll start by exchanging each of these Roman numerals with their decimal value. For example, i will be 1, 2 will be 2, or 2i will be 2, nulla, 0, 3i, 3, and 2i, 2. We'll then multiply each of these numbers by 4 and add them to each other. Before we add and multiply these together, the 4, since it's the base, will each be put to an, expo an exponent depending on their location. For example, this first term, the 4 will be to the 0th power. Second term, first power third term, second power, fourth term, third power, and fifth term, fourth power. Then we will take the, find the exponent value of the base 4 and then multiply it to itself each time. So we will end up with one term per parenthesis. Now that we've multiplied all of these out, we can add 1, 8, 0, 192 and 512 together. When we do that, we get the number 713. 
which correlates to our original number in decimal format. And that is how you convert from decimal to quaternary form back to decimal.